Welcome back to Inside the Crow's Nest here at Wade Stadium. After the Huskies won this one by a score of 6 to nothing over the Wilmer Stingers, our player of the game tonight is going to be Isaac Seacosh. He's standing by with our correspondent, Evan Papalis, down on the field. Isaac, seven scoreless innings pitch night, three hits, just the two walks and a pair of strikeouts to your name. What was working for you tonight? Honestly, everything. I think the biggest key was the defense behind me, them seven guys. And the one behind the plate really just kept it all together for me. If I didn't have them guys, I don't think that my stuff would have been as gross or as working as I wanted it to. But I got the ball in play, and they made plays for me, and that's why I really appreciate them all. Your first appearance of the 2022 season here at Wade Stadium. How was it feeling for you to just be in front of the hometown faithful tonight? Yeah, it was good. It was, warm, it was welcoming. Uh, felt comfortable on the mound. Nothing to complain about. So now two appearances to start this season, 10 scoreless innings. What are you looking to do to continue this dominant start that you've had to the 2022 year? Yeah, just continue to throw strikes, make sure my stuff keeps moving, and, uh, yeah, just staying with the guys and connecting with them. Quickly on the offensive side of things, how important was it to get a little bit of run support early on just so you didn't have to force as much out there? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it helps as a pitcher when you get a run or two up early in the innings, but uh, other than that, like, if they can keep the bats can stay hot, I mean, I'll, I'll try and keep doing my stuff and as well as the rest of the pitching staff, and we'll just keep working. Isaac, great work tonight. Thank Best you. of luck. Thank you. Appreciate Back it. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks so much, Evan. Obviously, this was a pretty great all-around game for the Huskies today. Six runs, manufacturing runs, and some outstanding pitching throughout the entire thing. Yes, indeed. It might as well be called the Christian Campbell Show, and we're about to give you some highlights here. And most of them are Christian Campbell highlights. Christian Campbell had one heck of a game he ended up going three for four he stole four bases he knocked in a run himself he really has lived up to the hype so far as a husky player yeah christian campbell certainly one of those guys you want to talk about let's start it out here with the christian campbell triple he started the game hot as he drove that one deep into left field you thought that might have been gone at first but it went off the glove of the left fielder and campbell showing off his speed hustling into third base Yes, yeah, speed was a common theme today for Campbell. As I mentioned, he stole four bases. This was a Little League double steal here that allowed Campbell to score. And then later in the game, an RBI double that ultimately scored John Rogers and gave the Huskies a 2 to nothing lead. Yeah, after that, the Huskies had a little two-out magic going in the seventh inning as Joe Voss hit that one to right field to score two more runs. Isaac Seacosh, the guy Evan just interviewed, he had a stellar outing. So far this year, he has pitched... 10 scoreless innings through 10 innings of work. He has been absolutely nailed so far for the Huskies. That Dodson throw at home was super clutch. Then this double play was beautiful to watch. Christian Campbell does it all himself. That one happened in the third inning. Later on in the seventh inning, Hallquist back to Campbell, back over to first. Just pure athleticism in that Huskies middle infield. And Carson Edwards, the hometown boy, he was able to close it out for the Huskies. Here is he is getting his first strikeout in his Huskies career. Bright future for him coming up. All right, the Huskies took this one, as we mentioned, by a score of 6 to nothing. What an absolutely fantastic all-around game for the team. That's going to do it for our post-game show here in the Crow's Nest. I'm Max Stapleton sitting alongside Kyle Morrison. We thank you for tuning in to us tonight on the Northwoods League Baseball Network.